more and more businesses are starting to reopen and go back to work across Arizona, but there are still a lot of lingering questions as the COVID-19 pandemic does still continue. So to help with more guidance, Karen Stafford is the president of the Arizona Employers Council, and she's going to help walk us through some of that. Karen, thanks so much for being with us again. Thank you for having us. We're happy to talk about this. It's an ongoing issue. So uh, first tell me, have you guys seen a spike in calls for guidance? And also tell me sort of the first checklist that you're walking them through. Sure, we certainly have. It seems like we're getting back to work. And now that more employees are coming into the workplace, the calls and the interest in what do we do in this situation and that situation um, we had the work from home thing figured out, and now this is a new element as the situation evolves, for sure. So you guys and have so, a checklist to walk people through kind of what employers should be thinking of. So what does that include? So I like to think about it as you think about the workplace from four different perspectives. You want to consider your physical space. So what does the work site look like? What new habits, practices, traffic patterns do you need to put in place? When you have employees back in the workplace to maintain that social distance, what are you? What is your plan to, you know, consider masks? Are you going to require them, recommend them, make them available, hold people accountable to wearing them, or set expectations when you're in a common area, you'll wear masks? And so making sure that is clear for all to understand how are you going to clean and sanitize the workspace what expectations can employees expect of you as the employer that you're going to put in place what do you expect of me as the employee to to also do and participate in that do i have to clean my own area or common areas i use next you want to have your managers all on the same page so that they're providing clear direction and expectations to employees next employees understand what are the rules what are those traffic patterns? What are the expectations that managers have of us, that coworkers have of us, and even the clients we're interacting with? And that's number four, clients, customers. What can they expect coming into our site uh, in terms of how we'll interact? Do I have to wear a mask? Or, or not, is it recommended? All of those same kinds of expectations. And I know that you're not a lawyer, but you can speak from an HR perspective. So sort of the two things that employers may face uh, from their employees uh, is maybe an employee expressing that they're still not ready to return. Uh, and mm -hmm. then some may not like the protocols. They don't wanna have their temperature checked when they walk in the door. They don't wanna wear a mask, even if you're asking your employees to wear them. So how do you navigate that from an HR perspective? From an HR perspective, you wanna start with the plan. And for that employee who is concerned about coming in, helping them understand the elements and aspects you put in place. Here's what we're doing to sanitize and create a, a safe and you know um, healthy work environment. Because a lot of that cleaning and sanitizing and those efforts happen outside of work hours. So you don't necessarily see or know that they're going on. We're gonna have questions. And when an employee comes forward and says, I'm not comfortable coming in, I wanna understand more about why, so that that gives me an opportunity to share with them, but also to listen. Because so many of these tips are so helpful, especially even just sending out an email about when your sanitizing is happening. But if you wanna mm -hmm. review sort of that checklist and these best practices, what's the best way to get in touch with the Employers Council and get more of that guidance? So www.employerscouncil.org click on that and click on access to our resources. You can download a whole PDF checklist that's fillable. You can take, copy, share, however you like, any of the guidance you find there. Whether um, you are a member of ours, we've opened it up to the business community to provide that resource to other employers. So please use it. If you don't have a plan, it's a great place to start. Absolutely, guidance, guidance, guidance. We can all share those tips together. Karen Stafford from the Arizona Employers Council, thank you so much for your insight as we do try to rebound Arizona. Absolutely. Thank you so much.